Hello everybody and welcome back to my Dreamfall Chapters Let's Play. Let's continue, shall we? Sweet home. The house feels strangely quiet. It must be, what, a year since I last visited? And who knows how long it's been for the house. Could be a day, could be decades. Balance, I need to get moving. There's not much time until the song lines align. Let's see. Elixir, a good rope, a spatula, chop chop saga. Okay then, well, the spatula would be in the kitchen. Oh, hello, a rope. Rope check. Spatula, check. Now where's the elixir? Would it be this thing? Hello, let me look at it. I'm out of the elixir. Okay, I knew that. No worries, Saga, this is all part of the plan. I'm fairly certain the recipe's in the compendium. There should be enough time to prepare a bottle. Prophecies can't be wrong, can they? No. Right? Oh. It's the book, okay. Let's see. Elixir of extraordinary extra human strength. Elixir of multiple consecutive climaxes. Elixir of selective remembrance. Hmm. There. Elixir of delayed onset of mortality. That's the one. Keep ticking after you've taken the licking. Page 108. Dried blood bog blossoms. Leaf of void oak. Boiled in strong liquor. Those things should be easy enough to find around here. Well, the liquor would be in here, surely. Here you Best are. wine I ever had. There were no grapes in that world, but the berries they used. Oh, absolutely sublime. Can I grab it? Can I? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Great wine, but not enough alcohol for my purposes. Also, boiling this would be sacrilege. Okay, not that then. Jade green baiju. High grade stuff, too. I'd almost forgotten about this little bottle of liquor. Here we go. This should be more than good enough. Alright, so now we need. What was it? Okay, sure, no problem. Isn't the house supposed to take care of all living things inside it? I didn't know I had to water the flowers. Oh, but wait, maybe... Dried blood bog blossoms. Check. Aha! Uh -huh. Could this be it? What a mess. But there should be void oak leaves here. Leaf of void oak. Nice and dry. I think that's it. That wasn't too bad. And there's still time on the clock. Time to boil up some elixir. No, 
this doesn't look right. I'll need to double check the compendium. Bring the alcohol to a boil, okay? Mix in the fine dust of dry crumpled leaf, add whole blossoms, and bring the mixture back to a boil. Hm. Easy as alchemy, which is so much easier than science. That's the alcohol heating nicely. Mmm, nice. Bit of a waste, but it's for a good cause. Dry leaf, crumpled to a fine dust. And whole blossoms. Perfect. Now it just needs to boil again. How do I know when this is done? Will there be a... Definitely a poof. Looks the right color. And it's already cooled down. I love alchemy. So much easier than chemistry. Laws of science need not apply. Rope, spatula, elixir. Check, check, and check. I think that's everything. With only minutes to spare, you'd almost think the stars are aligning on purpose. Except no stars, paths. Time to go knock down a wall. With my bare hands? No, Papa did too good a job with the masonry. Okay, so I need a sledgehammer or something. Ah! Sledgehammer! This should do the trick. Alright, let's go. You know that feeling when paths don't line up with where you want to go? That feeling. In all fairness, when these song lines were first sung, I don't think these walls were here. Or these metal gears. No worries, I come prepared, because prophecies. I do love their style. Spatula, queen of kitchen utensils. This is so enormous. I'm almost impressed, but I've seen too much. I'm just too jaded. Okay, maybe not. This is it. I just need to switch it off. Luckily, I came prepared. Here we Second go. one from Perfect Fit. <laughs> the spatula really is the queen of kitchen utensils. Perfect. I feel like I'm playing life on cheat mode. Not 
That's him, down there. I hope I'm not too late. No, we should be good. I'm on schedule. Don't worry, Kian. I'll save you. This looks pretty sturdy. Sturdy enough for a rope? And me? drink. Okay, he's not letting me run. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Will you not stay silent for one bloody minute? I can't think. I can't sleep. I can't dream. I can't have you inside me. You're eating me up. Why are you not doing what I've asked you to do? You're supposed to give me power. You're supposed to serve me, not, not the other way around. Stop whispering! Magic must be destroyed for the worlds to become one. For Stark and Arcadia to reconnect. For me to return home. You must help me accomplish this. You must listen to me. You see, if magic leaks into Stark, it'll cause chaos and mayhem. Millions will die. I, I don't have a choice. don't have a choice. It must be done. So Brian is the prophet. That's a twist I didn't see coming. Uh, who am I kidding? Of course I saw that coming. Brian's possessed by the undreaming. He brings it to Arcadia and then it starts... talking to him? Controlling him? Sounded to me like he wanted to control it. But why? Uh, to destroy magic? There must be more to it than that. I'm just repeating what he said. Come on, there's much more. Dark People's Library. Something happened here that... Okay, here we go. Who's there? Hello? Funny Bird, is that you? Oh, I didn't see you. Are you looking for something? Wait, no. What are you... killed the white dragon yeah and I was there I saw mr. Westhouse and he saw me he tried to kill me too but I was struck with something from that pointy magic stick of his and I I blacked out next thing I know I was stowed away on a ship to Sadir I must have crawled into a barrel or something I didn't remember any of it until until the prophet grabbed me I heard him there was blood, and I don't know what happened next, but his blood, that's what's helping me pull you into these memories. The Prophet's blood. 
Is that weird? No weirder than anything else I've experienced this past week. Welcome to my life. Do you question the goddess, Utana? Of... of course not. I... Uh, just want... I... need to understand why all non-humans must be destroyed. Magic is an aberration. It has no place in this cosmos. It's chaos. And chaos interferes with logic. With the engine. With her plans. This I understand. Reunification cannot happen as long as Arcadia is ruled by magic. But... the non-humans... If we are to fulfill the wishes of the Goddess, we must purify the world. Only then can the mechanical engine serve her. Do you understand now? I... Uh... Yes. Master, my office will establish camps and ship non-humans to the islands. And I'll find someone to spearhead the program to uh, eradicate magicals. Good. I'll be leaving for the Northland soon to oversee the final construction of the tower and the engine. I trust Azadir is in good hands. Oh, the Masked Council answers to me only. The Six will continue to heed our advice. Sadir belongs to us, Master Prophet. And this new emissary? Sister Saya will join you. She's young, but clever and loyal. She'll serve you well in Mercuria. I trust your judgment. Send word when the camps are ready, Utana. Did you understand that? No, but that was Mother Utana. She took me in after I arrived in Sadir. I did some work for her. She helped me get back to Mercuria. Kian and her appeared to be very close until... until she stabbed him with a knife to the belly. She what? That... that just happened. Out there, before the Prophet wrung my neck and... Oh, Mother of Ravens, I remember now. I remember what happened. I, I think I died. Am I dead? You're here. That's all I know. So Mother... Mother Utana serves the Prophet, and the Prophet orchestrates the destruction of Magicals. Which means Westhouse is responsible for... for actual genocide. God. I feel weird, Zoe. I don't like this feeling. I'm... I'm scared. I'm sorry, Crow. Place. It was... it was filled with numbers and calculations, an eternity of equations. I couldn't find my way out. It was terrifying. So much power. I owe you my life, sir. And now you will serve me. How? You'll help me build something. A mechanical engine. Like that calculator I was trapped inside? Something like it, but much greater. On a scale never before seen. In return, I'll grant you power. Power? What kind of power? The kind you once knew, Necromancer King. 
That was a long time ago. Another age. One in which magic meant something. I accept your proposition. So what's next? <laughs> What did you put inside me? Something to keep safe. Something that must remain hidden. It whispers to me. Don't listen to it. The Undreaming has ambitions. Best we don't let those ambitions loose on the world. Not yet. Tell no one of this. There are those who are willing to commit murder to get to what's inside you. My... My lips are sealed, Master. I swear. Only the scepter can shatter the shard of the soul stone you carry within. The soul stone? My soul stone? It was never yours, wizard. But yes, a piece of it. This scepter and the soul stone were forged from the same dream at the beginning of everything. Is that... Is that the Silver Spear of Gorimon? Where did you find it? It harbors great and ancient magics. Could I? No. And not magic. This is an object older than magic. It can both control and destroy magic. It's capable of slicing through the fabric between worlds. It's so beautiful. I spent decades looking for it. I found it with one of the Dryak kin. It looks... alive? It's been fed the blood of dragons, charged with the oldest magic of them all. It's finally ready. And once my engine has been built, the Scepter's true powers will be revealed. You'll stay close to me, in Mercuria. I'll call on you when I need you. With the help of the Azadi Nation, you'll build my engine. They're eager for the power they believe it'll grant them. They'll serve me, their prophet. In exchange, you'll have everything you could ever want. You'll be there, next to me. Reshaping worlds. I look forward to it, Master. I knew that wizard couldn't be trusted. I could have told you that. Wait, I did. He was there, Clax. When the Prophet broke my neck, he's working for the Prophet. So Clax has a shard of the Soul Stone inside him. That must be the same Soul Stone I brought to Lux. Why does the Prophet need to keep it safe? Something to do with the Undreaming? The Undreaming? It's inside that shard. It's not inside West House because, because then it'd be controlling him, and he's the one controlling it. You were right, Crow. I was. I was. I think. I think this is what I was supposed to show you. Okay. So what's next? We keep walking, I guess. I mean, maybe there's more to see. You. I should have guessed you'd be here. Or... It's not actually you. This place is strange. You're probably just an... An echo. A ghost. What was that whole thing about find her, save her? I found you, but I didn't save you. I didn't save anyone. You did. How? I was trapped. You freed me. You died. And was reborn. Reborn? How? You're not telling. Or oh, this echo is incomplete. I know this can't be you, not really, because you're dead, and this is just... <sighs> so, what do I do now? I'm supposed to save the dream, but I don't know how. What have you learned? I don't know. Westhouse brought the Undreaming to Arcadia. First, it was inside him, but then he put it into the Soul Stone Shard. 
He became the prophet and he manipulated the Azadi people, freed Clax and... Clax? The shards inside Clax? Which means the undreaming is inside Clax, and that spear can shatter it. The one that killed the white dragon? The silver spear of... of... Gorimon? That's what you were supposed to show me, Crow. The key to destroying the shard and unleashing the undreaming. The undreaming isn't the real danger here. I mean, yes, it is dangerous, but only because Westhouse is using it, controlling it. We need to unleash the undreaming. That sounds a teensy weensy bit risky. I know, but this is what has to happen. I don't know why I know. Maybe because Lux knows, and Lux is part of me now. We find the spear, and murder Clax, and unleash the undreaming, all by ourselves? We can't. We need help. We need... Kian. Kian. If I can get word to Kian, then there's still hope. But I need to get out of here. Uh, how do I get out of here? Good luck, Zoe. Hey, funny bird. April? Are you ready to go now? I... yeah. Yeah, I am. I've missed you, April. I've missed you too. Come on, Crow. We have a long journey ahead of us. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!